Bill Sawchuck of the St. Catherine Standard was sitting at the media table inside council chambers as he normally does when councillors voted to have a brief session in private. Uh, we'll invite you back in once we've had the uh, appropriate advice from our uh, legal counsel. Sawchuck headed to the lobby, leaving his computer and notes on the table for when he was allowed back in. But moments later, he was informed his computer and notes had been seized, and he'd been accused of secretly recording the closed door proceedings. Police were even called, and he was asked to leave the premises. Ontario's ombudsman is now investigating what happened. Sawchuck's editor called it a contemptible display of arrogance and bullying. So how did a routine meeting escalate into what some journalists have called an assault on media rights? Angus Scott is the editor-in-chief of the St. Catherine Standard. So Angus, let's begin with, I, I assume that night you're at home, you get a phone call, and what was your reaction to hearing, first of all, that, that Bill had been treated in this way? I was stunned. I was furious. I, I, I've never had to deal with anything like this before. And, and what about, I mean, his reputation was also at stake here, and being accused of recording people without their consent, which is no small thing. Absolutely. Bill has been a journalist working in the Niagara area for over 25 years. At no time in his career has he ever been accused of something like this. And to have this thrown in his face during an open meeting like that with public in the gallery, public watching, it just besmirched his reputation. And so let's be clear. First of all, he wasn't. I think everyone now accepts that. Uh, what was the real peril, though? Because I, I imagine there are people sitting at home watching this going, look, what's the big deal? He got his computer back. They had it for a little while. Uh, journalists are just fussed about this. What's the real consequence? Well, Bill's computer was open. Uh, he uses it as a function of his job. He takes notes on it. He has story ideas on it, uh, private, confidential material that is not in the interest of the development of the story to be in the hands of the people he's writing about until it's complete sources. Uh, they also took his notebook. Um, this can all be used both against the sources, if there are sources on that computer or in that notebook. Uh, just the peril of, of undermining our ability to do our job, and that is to discuss, to, to cover regional council, to cover municipal politics in this region. Did it surprise you that this took place in an environment where people are, A, used to seeing the media, but B, didn't seem to understand a journalist's rights when doing their job? I, I was absolutely shocked that this would occur. I, I mean, these people know Bill. He's been covering them for years. There's never been any type of accusation like this against him in the past. And, and as for their knowledge, I, I mean, this strikes at some core Canadian democratic principles, the right of a free press, the right to be free from un unreasonable search and seizure of your property. Uh, how this can happen is just beyond me. Some of these people on regional council have been there a very long time. Some of them have sat in, in the provincial legislature. Some of them are aspiring to higher office. That they don't know these basic rights and principles that underlie the Canadian democratic system is, is shocking to me. Do you have any gut sense of, of whether what happened has been influenced by what we see happening generally right now in Canada and the U.S., where there's this growing friction or lack of trust between elected officials and journalists? I mean, yes, there does seem to be that growing friction. I think the general disparagement of journalists and what we do is growing and is being fed by what we see south of the border, but also by some of what we see here. It's not as bad, but it is growing. Um, and that concerns me because I don't think that these people necessarily understand the important role we play in the democratic process. Angus, thanks for your time. Thank you.